Live commentary. Exactly. So yeah, tell me, what's got you so pissed off about Marvel? Like, be honest with me. Um, what, what do you mean? About like, what's going on with the game, or just about the no, game in general? No, like, you you have something against this game in its current form. Explain. It's busted as shit? I mean, I never agreed with X-Factor and TAC as game me mechanics since the beginning. And I remember when, um... When the game first got announced, and people like Seth Killing were trying to plug it, and they said like, oh, this game has, X-Factor is all about hype. These games have to have hype in them. And it's like, these games have existed for a long time, and they never needed this kind of, I call it artificial hype. Like, they need help with it. It's like, these games have existed for a very long time, were able to be just hype, without any, like, help from the game mechanics. I mean, like, Third Strike didn't have a comeback mechanic, that game was hype as hell. So why does Ultimate Marvel need one? And it's like, X-Factor is one of those things that always seems to me like, it does three things. For the noobs, it just gives them a chance to do something else stupid. For the average players, it's, 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 it's like, it's good, you know, it helps you out when you need it. And then for everyone else, um, shit, drop that. For everyone else, like the really good players, it just gives them the access to some really stupid stuff, really broken strategies. So who does it really help in the end, is my real question. Who's, who is this really serving? I'm never, I've never been a fan of comeback mechanics since the beginning, honestly, in any game. Even in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, where the, where the comeback mechanic is ass and a hat. You know, it's interesting that you say that, because... And I love Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. It's a great game. It's interesting to note, because this would just be Marvel vs. Capcom 2 all over again, with a better art style. Well, what was wrong with Marvel vs. Capcom 2? No, it's just that like the whole game was unbalanced from the beginning, and we all knew it. And, True. And would we see a much more balanced uh, MVC? I don't think so. Marvel vs. I think people put too much emphasis on balancing things. Like, I remember reading this article once, and this guy was like, Oh, everyone keeps talking about balance this, balance that. You want a balanced game? You want a, like, a perfectly balanced fighting game? Shit. I can't talk and fight at the same time. Oh, no. It's all good. It's all good. It's um, actually a lot harder, but, uh, hey, Max can get away with it, so can we. If we try. What was I saying again? You were saying you were talking about uh, balance fighters. Yeah, you know what's a balance balance fighter? Karate champ. We both played as the exact same character. The the fun thing about fighting games is that they're not balanced. There's the whole the, the whole you know dichotomy between all the characters and everything. That's like part of the fun of it. Actually, you know what? You know what he did? What, um, that we should we should talk about our arcade stories. When was the first time you saw this game? Not this game, but you know the series. Marvelous Capcom. Yeah. Well, Marvel vs. Capcom was actually the game that got me started playing fighting games. Um, I was like six years old, really young, and there was this little like kids place that uh, that my mom would take me to sometimes. It had a ball pit and a little playground area and stuff like that. And even back then, I was like a budding gamer, so the arcade part was always the most interesting to me. And in the arcade area, they had Marvel vs. Capcom 1, the arcade cabinet. And what attracted me to, to it was, honestly, Spider-Man was on it. And I was a little kid, you know, I, I, what else was I supposed to say? Oh my god, this got Spider-Man, this is cool. I didn't, know, I didn't know who Ryu was, who any of these characters were. It just looked cool because Spider-Man was on it. And I started playing it. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing, didn't know how to do a single move. You died on the first stage a million times, but I fell in love with it. And I was stupid. That's how I started with fighting games in a general. Oh my god, I remember I used to buy a fighting game like every two years because that's when they would come out. I don't know what store it was, but it was at like an electronics, not like an electronics boutique or whatever, just like when game, before GameStop. Like, I bought the original Marvel Super Heroes, dying to find out what it was, because it did have Spider-Man and the other Marvel characters on the cover. Oh no, I, I, I lost, I think I'm gonna lose this one. I missed my, uh... Oh, go, go, go. Yes! OMG! Combo! Damn! I got- I, I broke that one. I, I dropped it. R whatever. Yeah, I was talking about, like, when I saw it. I just bought, like, a new fighting game every two years, and that game was actually the first time I discovered two-player. 
Because I always thought it was just like me and the CPU. Wow, wow. Good one, good one. That didn't hit, but I don't care if chip Hmm. There we go. Run away! <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm still screwed. Am I? Yes. No! It didn't even matter before uh, that. I had no because I had to. Yeah, if I had enough time, I could have swapped back the character but and re yeah. regen my health. Grr. Anyway, we were talking about stuff. Arcade over. stories. No, and I'm not ripping anybody off. I'm just telling you the origin of my fighting game. I, I don't even know if it's fighting game interest. It just started out as a as a Marvel game for me. In fact, I have never been this crazy about a fighting game, like I, I like today's generation is. And I'm part of that generation. It's just that. Seriously, like, memorizing rules and game mechanics in order to just play the game. There's having fun, and then there's educating yourself and possibly having more fun. Okay. Yes! More like, optimal. Keep dropping them. It's because I have not played this game in a while, in a considerable amount of time. Oh, Battle Claw. Yeah, my favorite AoE. Daibu Kiku! Daibu Kiku! The one problem everyone has with this game is its freaking online infrastructure. And there's the, the lack of it, I should say. I, mean, I was gonna say, you mean the fact that it's butt? Yeah. The fact that it's anally raped, like Tom from the Boondocks. You, you probably never saw. No, I, I know the boondocks. I just don't understand what you're trying to say. Well, the point is, it's butcher. It it it, it feels like it's only it's garbage. yeah. It's a small fraction of what it potentially could be. That would actually be smart if you had anything to back it up. Well, there was no point because I had. Okay, I can keep this up forever. Yeah, that's. Yay, X Factor. Another thing I don't like about this game: the fact that it's stupid. Hitbox from Captain America, that's what got me that time. Morica. Morica. You know what I should do? I should actually... No, I, I was gonna tell you that I should actually replace the background music at, with Captain America, I should just put it as Team America. America. Fuck yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I love it. Um, no, I, I, I... One thing that bothers me, whenever I see someone, like, online using Captain America, it's like, they never do anything. They just come in, do random charging stars, and get killed. And it's like, it's almost anyone who plays Captain America doesn't know a damn combo. Happens to me all. It's that damn shield combo where he does the shield slash and then he follows it up. Well, this is actually isn't my business team. This is actually my team from Vanilla Marvel from back in the day. And that's when those characters were really bad. Remember the first game had to get patched, like, I don't know, once a month for each, I don't know, Something three like characters? That, yeah. And, then we, and, and now we have nothing. <laughs> so, you know... Pick your poison, people. Pick it carefully. I don't think there's anything wrong with patching games when there's one that's actually warranted and there's stuff wrong with the game. I don't see a problem with that. Ridiculously awesome. This is even match jab and the damage scaling is so No, I followed that up. You know I did. We did jab, 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 HS. Assist. It up. Um... I could not what? move into flight just now. I don't know why. There we go. Round trip that and follow it up with her lightning electrocution thing. I don't know. She never had that attack before. I, I wonder where they got the idea for magic minds. Well, they did everything else you were. Wow, really? Yes, you got cock blocked by my lasers. Like projectiles.